Well, I'm now joined on the phone by the Estonian Prime Minister, Andrus Anze. Prime Minister, thank you so much for joining us today. First of all, congratulations on actually adopting the euro. How concerned are you, though, for 2011? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, <clears throat> Euro will definitely support trade uh, for Estonia. 70% of our exports are they are going to other uh, EU member states, and another 30% is also mainly based on Euro. So we believe that Euro will uh, support trade with, with other EU member states. Euro will make Estonia even more attractive for foreign direct investments also. 60% uh, from all the FTIs we got from our neighboring countries, from Sweden and Finland. But uh, possible investors uh, in Sweden and Finland, they have had just a year ago some doubts. Mm. And uh, the only way out from all those uh, rumors about possible devaluation of Estonian crown is to join the Eurozone as soon as possible. Euro will be beneficial also for our ordinary people because uh, uh, Ninety percent from all the credits in Estonia, they were taken in, in euros. And when there are those rumors about possible devaluation of Estonian crowns, people, they are getting nervous. They don't know how long but it Prime will Minister, take to pay back their loans. How concerned are you about the image of the euro? We've gone through a massive sovereign debt uh, crisis, and there's no reason to think that this is going to die down. In my view, uh, the euro is definitely not in crisis. The value of euro is uh, backed by the second largest economic uh, area of the world. The monetary policy of uh, the independent European Central Bank has been really successful. In terms of price stability, the euro has been the most stable world currency since its birth 12 years ago. So uh, we're not concerned here in Estonia. Uh, there are different, uh, of course, uh, uh, problems in, in certain e euro member states uh, but uh, i'm absolutely sure euro will have a really great future but you, you come into this union being actually in a very sound fiscal position are you concerned that you will have to start paying money to the countries asking for bailouts in fact uh, Nobody was ready to face uh, the deepest crisis after the Great uh, Depression, and uh, Estonia was also not ready to face uh, the deepest cri uh, crisis after the Great Depression. But uh, nevertheless, uh, during those really good years, during the years 2002-2007, we collected quite remarkable reserves to our country, and we still have in our governmental sector reserves uh, approximately 10% from our GDP, and level of governmental de sector debts uh, is uh, uh, here in Estonia the low one in the European Union and 7.2 percent uh, only uh, but uh, we had also uh, cut to cut uh, our uh, public expenditures uh, last Prime Minister, uh, will you be following Angela Merkel in actually asking some concrete measures to be put in the treaty and possibly yes. even in the you know the deficit rules of each country to make sure that there is fiscal consolidation and that we don't have to break up the euro because certain countries are reckless in Estonia, we will go on with a prudent fiscal policy anyway. With the year ago, without the year ago, uh, we have to go on with a very sound fiscal policy anyway. And uh, we all know that uh, in, the, in the Eurozone, Germany, Netherlands, Finland, and now also Estonia, they share the same values. We have. Uh, to, to cut uh, uh, governmental sector deficit, deficit in uh, all the euro member states. Prime Minister, thank you so much. Prime Minister there of Estonia.